Hi, my name is Lee Granger. I'm the founder of Radium Technologies and the developer of Home Inventory Pro. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Home Inventory Pro's barcode features. Barcode scanning can be used to assist with data entry. For example, you could scan UPC codes or ISBNs instead of typing them, or you can scan barcodes to help you locate, edit, and flag inventory item records in the software. You can also print barcode labels directly from the software. This is really useful for identifying inventory items with asset IDs. You can use any barcode scanner that is compatible with a computer and operating system. I'll show you the one that I use. I use a CaneScan barcode scanner sold by CaneCal. It costs about $80 and it has proven very reliable and durable over the years. Now let's take a look at an inventory item, and I'll show you how you can use a barcode scanner to speed data entry of barcode data. The ISBN number for this cookbook is on a barcode on the back. I can scan this code instead of typing it manually. I've got my barcode scanner plugged in, so all I have to do is select the appropriate text box and then scan the barcode. That's all there is to it. The ISBN value is entered just as if I had typed it in myself. Now let's say I wanted to quickly locate the inventory item record for the cookbook we were just working with. I can scan the barcode to find it. This is the barcode scanning window. You can tell it what you want to do after each barcode scan. You can display matching inventory items, or open the Edit Inventory Item window for the matching inventory item, or flag the inventory item with the selected color flag, or change the status of the item, or move the item to a new location. For this demonstration, I just want to display the matching inventory item, so I will leave the options as they are and just scan the barcode. There's the matching inventory item. Scanning the barcode has taken us to the correct item. Now let's take a look at asset IDs. Asset IDs are unique identifiers that you can assign to your inventory items. They are most useful if you want to put barcode stickers on all of your assets. You can choose your own numbers or the software can assign them automatically. Let's edit the inventory item record for this cookbook again and assign it an asset ID. You can type in your own asset ID, but it's easier if you just let the software choose one for you. Clicking on the action button next to the text box will assign the next available ID. All of our inventory items appear to have asset IDs now, so let's print some barcode stickers. This is the barcode printing window. This is where you specify which barcodes you want printed and what you want them to look like. Home Inventory Pro supports hundreds of different label sizes and formats. You can print barcodes using data from the asset ID, barcode, serial number, or model number fields of the inventory item records. You can print barcode stickers for all inventory items or just selected items. And you can choose the column and row of the label sheet where you want to start printing. This is really useful when you need to print on a partial sheet of labels. You can also configure the colors, fonts, sizes, and other attributes of your barcode stickers. We want to print the asset ID barcode, so I will select that option and leave the other options unchanged. There are barcode stickers ready to be printed. The registration marks at the corner of the stickers are optional. They are useful when you want to align the barcodes with label sheets. Once everything is lined up, you can hide them if you want. Now I'll show you how you can use the barcode stickers to quickly identify inventory items and locate their item records. I'll use my barcode scanner to scan one of the stickers that we just printed.
First, I'll select Asset ID as the data type that I'm scanning. Now I can scan the barcode. There's the inventory item that matches the asset ID sticker that I scanned. Now let's use barcode scanning for a different purpose. Let's say I've just sold a number of items on eBay, and I want to update the date sold for each of them. I can use barcode scanning to make this process easier. It's a two-step process. The first step is to configure the barcode scanning window to flag each of the scanned items then I'll scan each of the sold items. The second step is to manually enter the date sold of the first item and use the Paste Special feature to paste the date sold to the remaining flagged items. First I'll configure the window to flag all of the scanned items. And I want to keep the window open after each scan since I'll be scanning multiple items. Now I can start scanning the Asset ID barcode stickers. The scanned item has been flagged. Now I can scan the next item. I'll sort the inventory item list by the flag column so all of our flagged items will appear together. There are the two scanned items. Let's pretend I scanned a few more. There they are. Now the purpose of this exercise was to update the date sold of a number of items that we sold on eBay. We're halfway there. We've identified the items and grouped them together. Now we can update the date sold of the first item and use Pay Special to update the rest. That's the first item updated. Now I can just select the remaining items and use Paste Special to update the rest. Now let's take a look at one of the pasted items and see if the date sold and buyer were updated. There's our pasted information, so everything appears to have worked. This is a real time saver, particularly if you're working with a lot of inventory items. I'd like to show you one more feature before I wrap up this video. Let's say, instead of selling your items on eBay, you want to have a yard sale. Home Inventory Pro can print the price stickers for you. Let's use the same flagged items for this example. This is the price label window. You can use it to print your own price labels using price data from your inventory database, or you can create any number of custom labels with price data that you enter manually. I'm going to configure the window to print price labels for all of the items with a red flag. These are the same items that we just scanned. There are price labels. The fonts, colors, sizes, and other display options are all customizable. And just like the barcode stickers, you can print on any size label. In this brief video, we've only covered a few of Home Inventory Pro's features. I encourage you to view some of the other videos to get a sense of how powerful and easy to use the software is.